six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off. Mike Evans, he's going to go. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 75 yards. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And now Coach Bruce Arians has made the call. His guys will go for two. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, they'll take an 8 7 lead. Raven 7. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. This hill on the return. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. Come on now. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Jackson from the shotgun, out to his left. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. That is caught at the 7. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And the Ravens are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the 2-yard line. A 4-yard gain. Brings up second and goal. At the two. They'll look to run with Edwards. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. Justin this is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, the offensive line, good. collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. On first and ten, here's Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just stuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. At the 39-yard line. To throw again on second down. Brady looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. 
But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back. Get the yardage. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. The punching it in from a yard away. And the Ravens will extend their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we're usually talking about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin in their next possession and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window I think you are I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go ah totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all still want to attack we'll see how they attack them here throwing on first down is Brady Flush to his right. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. Airing this one out for Evans. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Throwing his Brady on third down. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. It's fourth down. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. 21, Buccaneers 8. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They do go for it. It's Brady. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end drop out in a zone blitz he's gonna win that battle just about every time in the pocket chucked it away flag comes down so you got to move a little bit right and know where you are in the field have some awareness tackle to tackle you gotta get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done again it's Brady that's complete to his running back Evans and he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. On third down, Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll go for it. It's Brady. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. The Bucs try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. Jackson on first down, being chased out left. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. 
Throwing again. Jackson dancing to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Jackson now eluding the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. It's second down and ten. To throw again. Jackson escaping the pressure right. It's complete to Brown, right side. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. On third and one, Jackson steps away to his left. And a throw there going to be incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. They get this out quickly to the left side. And down inside the 15 he goes. A gutsy call turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Dobbins running out of the gun, and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. That's out to the left and complete, and here he'll get it down to the 7. Make that now three straight two-yard gains. A gain of two yards on the play brings up fourth down. Gets it out quickly here to the left flat. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And the Buccaneers defense holds, and they get the football back. Brady now on first down. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. At the 15-yard line. Brady. The left side completion to Jones. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 23 yards to pick up there. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 47. And to the 40-yard line. 